Step one, lay your sweater out flat for cutting. Make sure you've got all the seams lined up perfectly straight. This edge is a little bit crooked. I drew some lines along the edges of the sleeves to show where I'm gonna cut the straps. I don't need to draw a line in the middle. I would be cutting along this neckline, but it's already got the nice V-neck, so that kind of shows me where I need to cut. Step three is cut. And I'm gonna cut um, the two sleeves off and cut, make a cut down the middle. And we're gonna turn it sideways. These are gonna become the straps of the bag. And we can save the sleeves for another project. We won't need that for now. They can become leg warmers or um, you could use them to make a strap on a bag if you were doing a different style of bag. Step three um, was cutting off the sleeves, and you can see Puli's playing with the sleeves and the pen right now. And then the next step is going to be to cut down the um, down the neck, like make a V-neck, a V-shape in the neck, or you can make it rounder depending on how you how deep you want the straps to go in the bag. You do want to kind of keep in mind that you want to mirror the shape, whichever shape you make the neckline into, you want to mirror that shape in your arm cut. Now I cut out the neck and I've cut off the two sleeves and we're ready to turn it around and start sewing it. The next step is to sew the bottom of the sweater together and you want to sew it with the right side of the sweater, which is actually going to be the wrong side of the tote bag because we're going to turn it out when we're done. We're going to turn it inside out. So on the right side of the sweater, the side that normally was worn on the outside, we're going to sew a seam along the very bottom, right along here, to hold that together. And then after we're done, we're going to turn it inside out. So the, out, the inside of the sweater will be the outside of your purse, if that makes sense. Flip the sweater so that the neck portion of the sweater becomes the sides and the sleeve openings become the front. So what I'm going to do is turn it over, flip it, line up the two seams that go along the sides of the sweater, and get a nice even line across the bottom, and then I'm going to sew a seam. Now you can turn your sweater bag inside out and finish the sleeves and you'll be all done. That's the only thing you have left to do. But if you want to change the bottom so it's a little bit wider on the bottom, um, there's one more step that we need to do. Okay, this is the tricky part. This is how we're going to make a gusset on the bottom of the bag which will make it lay nice and flat and have a wide bottom to fit more stuff in. What we have to do is fold back this inner seam and we're going to pin it down so it stays flat and sew another seam, actually just a stitch, not really a seam, but just a stitch that's going to lay flat across this um, where the seam has been opened up at the bottom. About two inches in from this um, kind of pointed, sort of triangular shaped piece that's formed right here. Okay, the sweater, the bottom of the sweater bag has been completely sewn and I sewed, I sewed these little gussets on the side which will give it a nice kind of flat bottom to make more stuff fit into it. Basically what you do is you just, you flatten out the bottom layer and you make a little triangle and sew that triangle so that there's a seam on the side. And then what we do is we're going to turn it inside out and we'll have this nice flat bottom on our back. 
So actually right now we could stop right here and we'd have a, a beautiful little tote bag that's totally finished. Since I felted it, the edges won't really unravel too much. This sweater didn't get totally felted because it's not 100% wool, it's only 65%. But it's still got a pretty nice solid edge there that's really not going to unravel. But I do kind of like a more finished look, so what I'm going to do is do a top stitching all along the edges of the straps with a nice zigzag stitch that will kind of give it a more finished look and also protect it from doing any unraveling in case that does happen. that you do not need to have a sewing machine to do this. You can do the stitching by hand um, and this stitching that I did along the edges is just kind of a reinforcing stitch. You could even do like, um, you could even crochet along the edge or you could just leave it plain. You know, I just, I wanted a slightly more finished look and what I did was I did a, a, a zigzag stitch right along the very edge which made the straps get this pretty little ruffle which I really like. So it's totally not necessary. You could totally do this by hand. My son has done some with just stitching with a big um, yarn needle and just stitching up the bottom with yarn. It doesn't make a super heavy duty bag, but it's certainly very easy to do without a sewing machine. So um, don't feel like you have to run out and buy a sewing machine to make a sweater bag. Okay, so what do you think? It's finished. Um, I I'm not totally thrilled with the way the straps came out, so I might redo this. I might, um, I tend to be a perfectionist. I, I kind of, I have a vision for something and I'll get caught up in like, how can I make this better? And sometimes the point is just to, just to get it done. So that's why I'm going to leave this open to your feedback. What do you guys think? Should I finish the straps some more? Um, should I put a seam in the side to kind of give it a little bit more structured shape? Um, let me back up a little bit so you can see it. Um, should I sew a little pocket and put that on the side? I could, I could use a piece that I cut out from the neck and sew it into a little pocket on the side. Um, what do you think? Let me know what you think. I'll be interested to hear. But for now, this is all you need to do to make a little tote bag out of a recycled sweater. And thank you so much for watching.